Okay, Alana, what did you think of Seymour and Introduction? I loved it. I thought it was a wonderful portrayal of what it means to love music. And it was so beautifully filmed right from the beginning right up to the end. There was nothing in it that was at all interrupted the flow. It was a, just a beautiful flow. It was like a symphony that just was so perfectly rendered. It was wonderful, and I feel like I should say thank you. <laughs> well, I will tell Seymour that you said thank you. And your husband, what did you think of it? She's asking what you thought of it, John? Well, you want me to say what I thought of it? I, I thought it was very, filming. very moving. And, uh, <laughs> talked about uh, the music uh, being, expre you're expressing the emotion, the, the music. It doesn't uh, bring the music, bring the emotion from you, but it, it's, it itself is the emotion. The emotion was the big theme yeah. for you yeah. that communicated to you. Mm -hmm. And what about Seymour himself and his, um, his life? Yeah, I'd hate to see a teacher. <laughs> yes, when we all, where is Joseph? I thought it was inspiring. Um, I think the way he verbalized certain things about the music and the way his students spoke about him clearly reverential. I thought the documentary was fantastic. Tremendous. He's inspiring. He is so inspiring. You know, I thought the editing too was so perfect. Yes, I thought I the really movie itself pay attention to the way was the wonderful. Editing. Yeah, but he Technical. himself, yeah, he I, I carried thought it. as a subject, really, yeah. Yeah, carried Seymour carried it, but I wanted to tell everyone that the picture I gave to Seymour about two years ago, it's a, it's a sea, seascape, was on the wall. Oh, I yes. thought I'm going to actually put it in the blog, the actual seascape that I framed for him as a gift. And that was right before I visited him in um, his apartment right there in Central Oh, did you go to that apartment? Yes, I did. And so there are a lot of pictures. Actually, it's a beautiful apartment. You know, he has Korean murals on the wall. They're gorgeous and a lot of beautiful artwork. It's all in, packed into one studio apartment on Central Park West. I love apartments like that. You yeah. can tell somebody lives there. Yeah, you saw him walking away from the apartment, some of the footage, and then walking back to his apartment. Yeah, It's quite something. And the Steinway takes up, it's a B, I believe, a, a six foot 11 or seven footer. It takes up a lion's share of his apartment. That's all you need? That's all he needs. <laughs> he sleeps in that room. You can see him unfolding the, the sofa bed. So it's pretty extraordinary. Yeah, well, thank you for joining me for this. Alana, what were you saying? That was so, so nice. You said that it was the integration of the music experience? Yeah, the person. With yeah, the person. With the, with the person, the kind of your identity as somebody who loves music, but whose experience of music is, is very full and very complete. And I think all of us have that capacity, but it's not encouraged. That's almost like what Seymour is implying, because he was saying that in the old days of the masters, yeah. that part of being a, a musician was composing and playing. Right, right. Yeah. Bernie, what did you take the main thing from that movie? I think I asked you before, but what was it exactly that spoke to you in the Seymour movie? Well, that uh, he could teach uh, students because he could show them what he himself was feeling and uh, convey that uh, through various uh, directions to that. Well, I, from my perspective, I think it did so much for the art form and for music making and for you know valuing something that's sometimes intangible and you can't put a price tag on it. And, and you know, in our society, where I love the way Seymour talks about what we value as success. Yeah versus when you see something that's so, in a way, non-verbal and, and has great value, intrinsic value. The piano, in fact, that's what I got out of watching you with your students. It seemed to me that you weren't grooming them for the concert hall. You were grooming them to play as best as they could so that they would get the most joy out of it. Yes. That's what struck me about the array of, of students you have all over the world. It was... It was it was uh, very enlightening. It was like, wow, this is great. Yes. Yes. And I think they played like they totally loved the oh, process oh, of, yeah. of, and the engagement and the self growth mm -hmm. and the sharing. That yeah. was really yeah. uh, something I was very, very fulfilled about. So when Seymour like verifies it, Seymour verifies it in the movie, you feel very validated. So that's so important to those of us who are kindred spirits. We were very validated by Seymour's movie and his prophet-like, you know, words, yeah. sagacious words.